Let's talk ball players. We will talk about how to integrate them into Diamond Dynasty as well as what position you should be looking to make for Diamond Dynasty, what archetype to go with, and what loadout to go with as well. I have three different archetypes to choose from and then three different loadouts to choose from as well and two positions. So let's start off with how to integrate it into Diamond Dynasty. You go into your ball player section. If you only have one, for example, I have a contact catcher, you don't do you don't need to do anything here. All you have to do is head on over to diamond dynasty you go to manage squad you go to the catcher position and you go ahead and equip the catcher and you activate the loadout as well but let's say for example i don't want my contact catcher and i want to use my shortstop instead well you have to unequip your catcher so you go ahead and replace him if he's on the bench you would have to replace him as well you back out of diamond dynasty you go to the ball player section in the top left corner you go to manage you go to creator change and then you select the shortstop or whatever other ball player it is you want to use you go into diamond dynasty and then you would repeat the same process going into the shortstop section and then selecting and equipping your diamond dynasty ball player as well as the loadout that you want to use but for time's sake, we're not gonna go too deep into that. Let's go ahead and talk about the two best positions to create for Diamond Dynasty. It is going to be the catcher position and the shortstop position. Now, the three archetypes for Roll to the Show are power, contact, and fielding. I have made a archetype for each one in terms of the positions and i went ahead and looked at the numbers and saw which ones really stood out to me so let's start off with the power catcher which i believe is the number one archetype for diamond dynasty in terms of a created ball player as well as the number one loadout for catchers so let's head on in there when we go into the attributes this is base this is without leveling any attributes up in road to the show and without any equipment whatsoever you start off with 56 contact 60 power 56 vision is good enough and then you also have 60 arm strength as a catcher you want to have good arm strength if you're using button accuracy the accuracy should be important but not as important and then reaction is just helping you with your pop time the blocking is not too important and never really has been with the catcher and then the speed you get equipment to help you out in terms of that as well so i believe that sparking is the best one when it comes to the power archetype it's the best one for catchers in general and then the other ones drop tremendously in terms of contact but they do remain the 60 power so that's why we decided to stay away from them if you want to go the contact route which to me is the second best archetype for catchers you have the second best loadout for catchers there as well and this time around it's going to revolve around the same thing which is power it's going to be the slugging spark plug this one gives you 60 contact against both sides 50 power against both sides gives you an extra amount of vision gives you some discipline as well you start off with 50 arm strength and you get a little bit more blocking as well so you suffer in terms of arm strength and you get a little bit of blocking you suffer in terms of power and in terms of contact the power one that we had had 56 contact so really it doesn't really make too much up the other one has betting better hitting attributes all around and it's the one i would go with for a catcher then when we're talking about the second Secondary loadouts for this you have speedy that gives you 66 contact against both sides but drops you down to 35 power and then slick which gives you 66 contact again but it drops you down to 30 power so even less with more fielding and more reaction as well this one would just make you faster it would change your speed to 57 so those are the two best archetypes for catchers as well as the two best loadouts for catchers if you want to go ahead and see what it is you have to do to level these guys up in terms of the archetype you go to the loadout and you press square into the item program and you will see what the road to the show missions are they are plate appearances put outs assists hits extra base hits stolen bases and hits and if you ever are needing to do the stolen bases and that is something that you just want to knock out or you have really good equipment and you want to level up the archetypes as soon as possible then the speedy one might be something you use in order to have good speed to steal bases but if you have good equipment and you're leveling everything up as you should be then it shouldn't matter because you should have more than enough speed to steal bases now let's talk about the best short start shortstop archetype as well as the loadout it does not involve power and it does not involve contact either why you might be asking well 
For a shortstop, you want to have great fielding. You want to have great fielding while still having great hitting attributes. So we're heading on over to the fielding archetype this time around for shortstop. And when we check out the speedy slickster, let's see how the base attributes look. You start off with 50 contact against both sides, 50 power against both sides, 40 vision. This is where it's really appealing. And this is why I say that this is the number one for shortstops. As a shortstop, Fielding is the most important thing as well as reaction. Next comes arm strength. This one lacks tremendously arm strength, correct? But looking at it, you have already bronze fielding. You have already bronze reaction. With equipment, that's only going to get better. You might be able to get it to diamond without a problem. With diamond reaction as well, the speed might go all the way up to 99. So you're having a speedster at short and the arm strength should definitely increase as well, especially with the perks that you will be able to get as well that's something i did not mention this is without any perks whatsoever so these are just base attributes with perks you will be even 10 times better not only that contact and power numbers will also increase so you're looking at a francisco lindor type of player if you make yourself a switch hitter that's gonna have the same speed or not speed excuse me the same fielding the same reaction might have a little bit better arm strength because of the equipment and perks and 99 speed it's basically having like a byron buxton at shortstop that hits like babe ruth and then from the right hand side hits like frank thomas i mean you can't ask for anything better the fielding archetype is the best one for shortstop and then in terms of loadout it's gonna be the speedy slickster when you look at the slugging slickster it starts off with 55 power but 30 contact and then your fielding is going to be 65 your arm strength is going to be 55 and then your reaction is 65 as well which you might think is pretty good but speed is very important for a shortstop and 55 power is not too important you just want to make sure that your power threshold hits above the 80 margin and then you should be good so you don't want to emphasize on that when it comes to the sparking slickster, you get 59 contact against both sides, 30 power against both sides, 66 fielding, 30 arm strength, so five less arm strength than the speedy one. And then you get 30 speed. With the slugging one, you got 30 speed as well. So if I was making a shortstop, if I wanted to create a shortstop, it would be fielding archetype and it would be speedy loadout. And then if I wanted to go ahead and make a catcher, it would be power archetype and then the sparking loadout in order to go ahead and maximize the attributes. And then regardless of whether or not I want to create a catcher or not, to level up these loadouts the quickest shortstop is going to be arguably your best position if not shortstop it's going to be catcher catcher because of the putouts shortstop because you will be getting not only assists but also putouts from double plays etc so i think in general shortstop is probably where you want to make them regardless of whether you are planning to use a ball player at the catcher position or shortstop position because after you level up Let's say for example, a power archetype shortstop and you're using the sparking loadout, you're gonna be able to create a new ball player, make them a catcher, and then equip that diamond archetype of power loadout that you have already. And then bada boom, bada bang, you just take them into Diamond Dynasty and you're good. So shortstop is definitely the best place to go. If you did end up enjoying today's content, like button, or subscribe button, turn on notifications inside the description. You get my social media links, Twitch, Discord. We stream every single day, 9 p.m. Eastern. Make sure you check it out. Have a blessed day and night. Stay positive, stay safe, stay blessed. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.